Picture this, it's a crisp Sunday morning, and little Timmy is nervously fidgeting in the church pew. His mom leans over and whispers. Remember, God loves you. Timmy nods, but then asks. But does he like me? Friends, that innocent question rocked my world. How many of us believe God loves us because he has to, but doubt he actually enjoys us? Today, we're diving into a truth that will transform your relationship with God. He not only loves you, he genuinely likes you. Welcome to the Daily Inspirations of Faith channel, and if you're struggling with feeling unworthy or unloved, this message is for you. Stick with me for the next few minutes, and I promise, you'll never see God's love the same way again. If this resonates with you, hit that like button and subscribe for more life-changing biblical truths. The difference between love and like. Let's be honest, we've all had relationships where love felt like an obligation. Maybe it was a difficult family member or a challenging friendship. You loved them because you should, but liking them? That's a whole different story. Here's the game changer, God doesn't just love you out of duty. He genuinely enjoys you. He finds pleasure in your company. Don't believe me? Let's look at Zephaniah 3 verse 17, for the Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty savior. He will take delight in you with gladness. With his love, he will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. Folks, this isn't the description of someone tolerating you. This is a God who celebrates you. God's delight in you. Now, you might be thinking, Pastor, you don't know what I've done. How could God delight in me? Let me share a story that changed my perspective. I had a friend, let's call him Jack. Jack was a recovering addict who felt God could never truly like him because of his past. One day, during prayer, Jack had a vision of God looking at him and smiling. Not judging, not disappointed, but genuinely smiling with joy. Jack broke down in tears, realizing for the first time that God didn't just love him, he liked him. You see, God's delight in you isn't based on your performance. It's based on his character and his choice to see you through the lens of Christ's perfection. Calming your fears with his love. With his love, he will calm all your fears. How many of you need to hear that today? In a world full of uncertainties, God's love isn't just a warm feeling, it's a fear-destroying force. Think about a child afraid of the dark. A parent's loving presence doesn't change the darkness, but it changes everything for the child. God's love does the same for us. It doesn't always change our circumstances, but it changes us. When you truly grasp that the creator of the universe not only loves you, but likes you, it puts everything else into perspective. What can truly threaten you when you're cherished by God himself? God's joyful songs over you. Now, here's the part that blows my mind every time. The verse says, he will rejoice over you with joyful songs. Imagine that for a moment. 
the God who spoke galaxies into existence is singing over you. Not with reluctance, not with a sigh, but with joy. I remember watching my daughter's first dance recital. She wasn't the most graceful, but as I watched her, my heart swelled with pride and joy. I wanted to shout, that's my girl, from the rooftops. Friends, that's how God feels about you. Every stumbling step, every imperfect attempt to follow him, he is there, cheering you on, singing songs of joy over your life. Living in the light of God's affection. So, what do we do with this incredible truth? How do we live differently knowing that God genuinely likes us? First, stop trying to earn his affection. You already have it. Instead, start each day by reminding yourself, God delights in me today. Second, approach God with confidence. He's not tolerating you, he's celebrating you. Pray boldly, worship freely, and serve joyfully. Lastly, extend this truth to others. In a world starved for genuine affection, be a reflection of God's delight. Look at others the way God looks at you who with love, like, and joyful celebration. As we close, I want to pray over you that this truth would sink deep into your heart and transform your relationship with God. Heavenly Father, we come before you in awe of your incredible love. Not just a dutiful love, but a love that delights in us, that sings over us with joy. Lord, for those listening who have felt unworthy, unloved, or merely tolerated, I pray that your truth would break through those lies. Father, help us to grasp the depth of your affection for us. Let it sink into every fiber of our being that you not only love us, but you like us. You enjoy our company. You delight in our presence. God, calm our fears with your love. When the world feels overwhelming, remind us that we are cherished by the King of Kings. Let that truth anchor our souls in the stormiest seas. Lord, teach us to live in the light of your affection. Free us from the need to earn your love, and instead, empower us to live confidently as your beloved children. And Father, Help us to extend this same love and delight to others. Use us to show a hurting world what it means to be truly loved and liked by you. We love you, Lord. And we're in awe that you love us and like us too. In Jesus' name, Amen. Friends, never forget, God loves you and likes you. It's not just a nice saying, it's a life-changing truth. If this message has touched your heart, please share it with someone who needs to hear it. Don't forget to subscribe for more encouragement from God's Word. Until next time, live in the joy of being God's beloved.